Hey guys, Sardax here, and today I'm bringing you another deck profile. Uh, this time we're going to be doing a deck profile on Asha. Uh, Asha got support in GPT-08. And yeah, let's just get right into it. So hopefully I'll just quickly go over the skills of some of these cards now. Uh, so Star Vanguard is uh, Elmi. She hasn't changed. Uh, to quickly go over her skill. Axe skill, if you have a Renekless Vanguard, you can put her into Soul. Choose one of your Grade 2 or Greater Rear Guards. And call it to Rear Guard Circle. And then at the end of turn, they go back to your hand. Good starter, um, can proc bloom plays, and then since the cargo returns to your hand, you can proc the bloom play on your next turn, which is pretty good. Uh, next, great threes, uh, four Ashas, one sign Asha, yay. Uh, skill, uh, again, to really go over the skill, because you probably talk about it a lot. Count last one on stride, choose my regards, clone it, gets plus 2k, and then. GB2 skill, if you have another unit with the same name, plus 5k, it works on Vanguard or Rear Guard, because all your unit gets it. So yeah, she's a stride boss, so you're gonna be she want you want to be on her at all times. So yeah. Uh next grade three, uh four Summer Heights Fire Maiden Marjuka. She's the new grade three that came out in the new set, GP08. Um so yeah. Uh her first skill is Vanguard once per turn, generous break one. Uh, when one of your rear guards with the bloom ability is targeted by a card effect, you can pay the cost to Soul Blast one to draw a card. Uh, pretty good. I shame that it's only once per turn. That's pretty sad. Uh, but yeah, you're getting a plus one when something gets targeted, and most of your grade twos, a few of your grade ones, and like one of your triggers are bloom cards. So, oh, and she's a bloom too. So, you can um. Uh. I lost some train of thought. So yeah, uh, you can draw a card based off it. So plus one on your opponent's turn, which is not too bad. Uh, then her other skill is <clears throat> Vanguard Rearguard Circle Bloom. When another copy of her is placed on the Rearguard Circle, you choose one other copy, and until end of turn it gets, end of turn it gets plus three, t ugh, plus three k. And then if the card that was placed was Ronnie, the Grade Two, which we will talk about later, she gets to on hit, on hit Vanguard uh, draw a card and slowly slow charge one. Uh, she's a pretty good card, and one of your essential combo pieces for uh, a first turn, first stride kind of play, which I'll get to in later. Otherwise, she's pretty good. I like her a lot. Uh, great twos. Uh, fourth area. Uh, nothing else much to say. Hasn't changed. On place, choose one of your rear guards. If you have a Renunculus Vanguard, she takes the name. Then uh, other skill, put a card with the same name back into the drop zone. Bounce it back to hand, so she, and beginning your main phase, so you can call her again. So yeah. Also has a change for Grishon Elf. Bloom, 2k, boost, good card. Keep her, she's good. Then finally, uh, three Rani. I might actually bump her to four because she works so well with Marjuka. Uh, so skill is Bloom. When another copy of Ronnie is placed on the rear guard circle, you choose up to five co copies of your of her or Marjuka, and they get the auto continuous skill. Uh, they get one K for every card with Bloom ability. So excluding the Vanguard because the Vanguard don't doesn't have a Bloom skill. If you have a full field of Bloom, you these two cards are getting plus five K. So that's like another that's a trigger already to. Or a 5k, that's right, a 5k shield to guard, guard with. And then her other skill is in the deck and rear circle, she takes the name of Marjuka. She's also regarded as Marjuka. Oops. So yeah, uh, so then because of that, she can actually proc Marjuka skill to give her the 3k. And then because she has Ronnie, she gets the on hit draw one and soul charge one. So yeah, really good. Uh... The two cards work super well together, and especially on first turn stride, uh, you can do some pretty stupid stuff. Um, great ones. Four stride fodder. Kind of obvious. As much as I like this card, you don't don't actually want to be on her. So you know, let's get Asha. So yeah. So four stride fodders. Next, for Katrina, best card, never change her, super good, on place, bloom four, 
that's stupid. Just keep her. She's good. Uh, next, two medium sweet berry. Uh, she helps fix your field and do bloom plays. Uh, so skill act once per turn. Uh, cost us nothing. Uh, you choose up to one unit with not name her on your field. Um, you search your deck for the same card with the same name. Call it to rearguard circle and then you put her back to deck. Uh, she's really good. She helps fix your bloom plays. Uh, help fix your field and proc bl bloom plays when when you can. So yeah, I like her. Good card. And then finally, uh, four of the bloom PG. Uh, you do, you don't counter blast a lot in this deck, so you don't need to worry about it. So there you go, bloom. So you can proc skills, and then her bloom skill is the counter blast one on place. Choose up to up to five. Return her to hand. So yeah. Getting perfect guards back into your head. And trigger lineup, uh, uh six crits, four of the uh, Asha crits, self explanatory, and then two of the Margo clone crits, put into soul, get plus 3k. So, yeah. Uh, next. Uh, six stands, uh, three of the shot deck stand triggers that on place rear guard, you can put her back to, you put top to deck, uh, you choose two units with the same name and they get plus 5k until end of turn and then you shuffle your deck. So yeah, pretty good. Helps you recycle, this helps you recycle uh, triggers as well as this stand trigger that recycles itself as well. And other cards, so skill is, um, Elizabeth is, uh, skill, bloom, generation break one. Wait another copy of first place on rear guard. Choose up to five copies, um, five units with the same name as Elizabeth. And until end turn, you get the axe skill, cost zero. Uh, choose a normal unit from your job zone. If you chose a card, you choose up to four un cards with the same name. And return, uh, as that card from your job zone and return to your deck. And then return this card to your deck, shuffle your deck, and you draw a card. So you recycle her. You recycle cards from your drop zone, which is something that they should do. Do so. Let's say you have all your Katrinas in the drop zone. Bloom her, but Katrina, choose Katrina. Put them all back. So you're recycling them again. Really good. Pretty good. And then finally, uh, four heals. Heals are going to heal. Uh, G guarding is a thing. So yeah. And now we'll move on to the G zone. Uh, two Verano. Uh, I honestly might bump her to three because I find like she's. I find situations where I probably would want to stride on her to again in order to do some some plays. But yeah, yeah. Uh, so skill is Soul Blast one and choose a face down card from G zone to her face up. Then choose a card from your hand in your drop zone and return to your deck. On place, you may pay the cost. You choose up to two cards from your hand, call them to separate rear guard. Then choose the same number of rear guards for each face up copy of Verano. And then you search your deck and then you call it, shuffle your deck, and the card you call with this effect gets the boost ability. Um, not ability, they get boost. Um, really good card on uh, first turn first turn stride, especially with these cards. Uh, so. <clears throat> So what you normally what you do is you pay her cost, skill, um, you can do like, um, you can do, uh, if you have these two cards in your hand, or even one, you can do one, two, if you have these two, and then you can, two. Um, so then since you play the second, you proc her bloom, she gets plus 3k, and then the on hit draw a card. Then you search up for, choose her, call that, bloom, gets 3k, she becomes a 14k booster because remember, Verano gives her boost, so she becomes a 14k booster. And then you can use, um, Asha skill to call like another one of her, um, bloom, you give her 3k. And then starter skill, call her, 
bloom three times to give her 9k and then you have a big column here to swing and she gets on hit three times and you slow charge three times on hit three and there goes a vacuum cleaner okay so yeah so this is stupid play she is now 18 18 uh plus 14 32 this is 32 column with an on hit uh draw th uh, draw three and then because we're at the triggers and then you probably swing that first and then since because you run stands you have to you have, you have to uh your opponent will have to worry about guarding this so you don't draw and then hopefully you don't get stand triggers so you can restand this column and then have to worry about on hit draw again and then you have to worry about this puny column too well not even a column this card which is swinging for 15k without triggers and then with an on hit one draw one so yeah this is what you can do on your first turn stride with Verano and the flower girls so yeah uh Verano's a good card especially with those flower girls there uh next for oh for Ilmatars, uh, she's the new strategy that came out in uh, GBT08. Uh, I might drop her down to two because I didn't find myself using her too often. Um, but her skill is uh, Act Generation Break 2, Caramelize 1, and uh, Persona Flip. Uh, you choose one of your units. If, she, if that unit has the Bloom Blue, you draw a card. That's good. You're drawing a card already. And then choose up to six units with the same name as that unit. And then they get the skill. Uh, on hit Vanguard or Rearguard, they, uh, they, oh, words. Uh, if they hit the Vanguard, you draw a card. On hit Pressure, that's another plus. And then if you have three or more units with Bloom Billy, she gets a crit. Crit, good. Bloom, damn, good. I like her a lot. Too bad I don't use her too often, so I might have to drop her down to two. She's a really good card. Um, if you manage to do, to do all this stuff too with the Flower Girls, you're getting a lot of on hit pressure. You got a crit, so your opponent will have to either PG that, G guard that, so they don't die. So yeah, uh, pretty good card. Uh, next, for Asha, spinning, dream spinning, she, good card. Obviously, one SP because you know bling. Um, skill, skill persona flip. Uh, she gets the act skill. If you choose one of your rear guards, you have two copies of it. The front row gets plus five K. And then, other, then the second part of the skill that if you have two more uh, cards in your G zone, you search for one card, with, you choose one of your rear guards, choose one card, find it in your deck, call it to your rear guard, and it gets plus 2k. Good card. Nothing much else to say. Because I think I talked about her a lot. Next, two GR Ashes. Uh, Camel Boss 1, Soul Boss 1, flip off, flip over a car, flip, flip anything. And then you have a Renunculus Heart. Uh, you choose one of your rear guards, search your deck for one of it, call to rear guard, and then choose up to four units with the same name of the unit you chose. They get plus 5k for each copy of the Dream Screen Renunculus. Face it up in your G zone. And then if you have another unit with the same name, if you have a rear guard with the same unit, oh, this is the last part. If you have a unit with the same name as this unit on your rear guard circle, she gets a crit. Whoops. Good. Love her. Nice. Uh, GG Guardians. Uh, two Rain Breath Dragon from the Fires Collection. Simple. You gain 5k shield if you call a card to Rear Guard Circle. And the card you call with the Rear Guard Circle gets resist. So, pretty good. And then two uh, Verna. She's the new G Guardian from GPT08. And she's really good. Skill is that when she's placed on Guardian Circle, you choose one of your rear guards, and then she gets plus five k for every every for the for every other for of every other copy of that card in the G zone. So at max, you're going to get plus twenty k shield for a full total of thirty five, which is pretty good. And yeah, that's it for this deck profile, guys. Um, again, I try to quickly gloss over cards that were already that I already talked about in previous deck profiles because I don't want the video going too long. But I see it's almost fifteen minutes, so that's very long. Uh, but yeah, overall this deck is pretty fun to play, and it's stupid when you can do the Sunflower combo. But yeah, uh, if you like what you see, you can like the video, 
Um, and you can also comment if you think, if you like the deck or you think there's something should change in it. But yeah, uh, other than that, if you want to see, if you would like to be notified for more videos, just go subscribe. And yeah, that's it for this deck profile, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.